Welcome sa zip9.com uh, In this video, tutuloy natin yung ating series about uh, polynomial functions no? Sa previous video, ay sinagutan natin yung uh, is x minus 1 a factor of p of x no? So dito sa, sa video na to, ay uh, sasagutan naman natin if uh, x plus 1 is a factor of p of x no? Tuburahin na natin to. Balikan nyo yung video na yun, ano kung gusto nyo papanood. And uh, sa video na yun ay uh, ginamit natin yung remainder theorem, factor theorem para masagot to. At nag-add tayo ng synthetic division to find the quotient. No? So, yeah. I think we, we need... I think we can delete this. No? Okay. So, kung napanood nyo yung previous video, I think uh, madali na ito sa inyo. No? Ang hahanapin natin ngayon is yung x minus c, no? Sabi kasi, if a polynomial f of x is divided by x minus c, then the remainder is f of c. Pag ang remainder niya is 0, then x minus c is a factor of f of x. Yung x minus c natin dito ay uh, yung x plus 1 at saka yung f of x natin is the function p of x, no? p of x na yung pangalan ng function natin dito. So, bago tayo mag uh, p of Ang hahanapin pala natin is p of p of x, no? Ano ba yung x natin? Ang sorry, not p of x but p of c. Ano ba yung p of c natin? So hanapin natin yung c. Ano ba yung format dito? x minus c, no? Pero yung x minus c natin is x plus 1. Okay? Minus ito plus ito hindi pwede. Dapat para silang minus. So gagawin natin, gagawin natin x minus Paano siya magiging plus 1 pa rin? Di ba? So, magne-negative 1 tayo dito para x plus 1 pa rin. So, in this case, parang hindi naman natin binago kasi this is x plus 1, this is x plus 1. Okay? So, same, the same, ano yan, the same expression, the same binomial. Okay? So, meaning, ito yung x natin, ito yung minus natin, therefore, c is equal to, c is equal to negative 1. Okay? C is equal to negative 1. O, baka nagtataka kayo maingay. Nasa hotel ako ngayon at yung ako ay nasa tabi ng highway. Kaya uh, medyo maingay na may mga nagbubusina. So, ibig sabihin, our, balik tayo sa ating discussion. Ibig sabihin, our uh, C is negative 1. Which means that we are looking for P of negative 1. Again, kung may remainder yung p of negative 1, the value of p of negative 1 will be the remainder, no? Kaso, pag ang p of negative 1 natin ay 0, meaning, x plus 1 is a factor of this, no? At tignan natin. Substitute natin yung negative 1 dito. So, p of x is p of negative 1, meaning, we substitute negative 1 to all the x's here. So, negative 1 cubed plus 2 times negative 1 squared minus 5 times negative 1, minus 6. No? So, magiging negative 1 cubed is negative 1, di ba? And then, plus 2 times negative 1 squared is, neg is 1, di ba? Times 2, minus 5 times negative 1, this is plus 5, and then minus 6. Okay? So, ano na? Negative 1 times 2 is 1, plus 5, minus 6. 1 plus 5 is 6, minus 6, this is 0. P of negative 1 is 0. Ibig sabihin, no, x minus 1, uh, sorry, x plus 1 is a factor of f of x. Okay? So, ano pa yung isang factor natin, no? Actually, nasagot na natin ito, yes na. Kung sa test, ito na yun, yes. Yes na yung sagot. Pero curious tayo, ano kaya yung iba pang factor? No? So, para makuha natin yung iba pang factor, is synthetic division natin. Since alam natin na uh, divisible siya. Paano nga ulit mag-synthetic division? Check if the exponents are in decreasing order. So, dapat decreasing siya, walang laktaw. 3, 2, 1, 0. May lak wala siyang laktaw. After that, meron tayong 1. 2, kinakopya natin yung, ano, yung coefficient, negative 5 and negative 6. And then, 
yung C natin nandito, negative 1. And then, we we just copy this. This is, uh, we're doing synthetic division, no? So, balikan nyo yung PF08 kung hindi nyo alam ito. Doon ko pinaliwanag ko paano ito gagawin. Ah, uh, nagtata baka nagtataka kayo ng ginagawa natin. Nini-divide natin ito dito. Tapos, yung makikita natin yung quotient nyan using synthetic division, no? So, bring down 1 times negative 1 is negative 1. So, minimultiply na. Uh, the first step is to bring this down. Multiply here. Put the product here. And then add. So, 2 plus negative 1 is 1, right? And then, multiply ulit. 1 times negative 1. Negative 1. Negative 6, di ba? So, plus, plus. This is addition. Negative 6 times negative 1 is 6. six plus ne Negative 6 plus 6 is 0. Tama. Ano siya? Factor siya kasi wala nga siyang remainder, no? Kung hindi nyo napanood yung ating video, ang 0, the last number here will be the remainder. No? Pero napatunayan na nga natin na P of, uh, P of negative 1 is 0, di ba? Kaya wala, kaya nga factor siya, no? So, 0 is the remainder. Ang advantage naman ng, ng uh, synthetic division is uh, nandun naman yung, ano, yung, yung uh, quotient. So, para makuha mo yung quotient, tignan mo yung pinakamalaking exponent dito. Lalagay mo yung variable dito at babawasan mo lang ng isa. x squared, pababa rin siya. x, and then wala na dito. So, plus, and then pag negative, minus. That's the other factor. So, 1, ibig sabihin, x cubed, is it, uh, x cubed plus, 2x squared uh, minus 5x minus 6 is equal to ano, x plus 1 times x squared plus x minus 6. No? Okay? So, kung gusto nyo ma-factor ito, pwede pa yan. No? Kung, uh, gusto, kung halimbawa ang problem na ma-factoring, pwede nyo rin factor to using synthetic division. Pero here, uh, I think this is factorable, no? Pwede natin to i-factor manually. I think this is x plus 3, x minus 2. x plus 3, x minus 2. Tama? x squared minus, uh, plus 3x minus 2x minus 6. So ito yan, x plus 1, x plus 3 minus 2. Kung factoring naman yung problem, so x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6 is equal to this. So, kailan ginagamit yung synthetic division? Ginagamit siya pag division of polynomials, ginagamit din siya pag factoring. No? Mas madali kaysa sa mag-divide kayo manually. Okay? So, I hope meron kayo natutunan dito sa video na to. Uh, magkarugtong yan, no? Ng previous video, kaya uh, maganda panoorin yung dalawa. And of course, mas maganda kung panoorin yung ito simula sa PF11. No? Marami tayong series sa Sipnayan, no? yung uh, YouTube channel natin. Uh, marami tayong series dyan at uh, pwede nyo uh, panoorin. Maraming salamat. See you in the next tutorial.